So I got this truck on eBay. It's in the truck that's in this box. I have a truck just like it. It's this one. I've had this truck for five or six years at least. I got it when it first came out. So whenever this release came out from M2, I got it. This is the '69 Ford F250. And uh, what to say? It says 2015 on the bottom. So obviously maybe not six years but wait okay I really thought I had this longer than that seems like it's I've had it for about six years but obviously not anyways so uh, you see this truck here which I will probably put on the turntable just so you can see it and um, what I was gonna do with this truck is I gotta file this down yet, but I, I was gonna make some, you know, slats for the sides of it. You know, obviously they're not this tall. I still gotta cut these and kind of file these down, but, um, I like this truck so much the way it is, and it's not exactly what I wanted. I wanted more of an aged looking truck, and so. I thought, well, I'll just buy one of these and age it myself. But I found one on the internet that was exactly what I wanted. So, and it was that same color. So I'm going to open it up and show it to you guys. I found one that was already aged, so I didn't have to do, do much to it. All right, I don't have to do anything to it except for put those slats on. And I know I, I've heard a lot of you guys have gave me heck about the opening the box on that um, Matchbox truck because it took me like two minutes to open it up. There you go. See, I'm, I am physically able to open up a box. That one was just confusing because of the way it was made. Sorry, I didn't aim to hit the camera. Well, that's funny. Okay, so it was a Ford, there's a Ford truck in this box, and the first piece of news, or the last piece of newspaper in here, the top one, advertises Ford trucks. So, that's pretty funny. probably keep that box. That's a good sized box. It's also wrapped in a Walmart bag and I purchased this truck from Walmart. So, although this guy I got this from on eBay probably did too. And I noticed it said that this guy was located in Rochester, Indiana. I'm in Walton, Indiana, so really not that far away. And here it is, and boy, does this look super cool. This is so amazingly cool. I can't really express it. That sounded really dorky the way I said that. But, um, like he took the time to where you can see where it's rusted out on the sides. This guy took the time to, uh, like, cut out spots in the fenders so that it matched up with the way it was rested. That fender's really rested. It looks cool. This is stuff I wish I was able to do. I'm just not able to do this. So I have to pay for other talented people to be able to do it. This looks so cool. Doors are a little tight. I don't need the doors open anyway. Hood opens. And he's even aged the inside with some 
rust and then the uh, little black stuff. Started out like this. I'm gonna zoom. Started out like this. Now it looks like this. Love it. Absolutely love it. And um, so there you can see on the front, on the sides, the back. Something about this truck on both models, maybe it might show up better on this one. Something I've never cared for, you can just barely, just like barely read Ford on the tailgate. So, um, I would hope that in other colors you can see that better. The white on light turquoise I can see why that might be a bit of an issue there you go and of course the top mine has a few dirty spots on it but that's um dirty fingerprints So I'm very happy with that. It's exactly what I wanted. So I'll get these on the turntable for you, or probably just this one. This is what this one's what the video is about, and um, that's it. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. I may end up buying more stuff like this from the seller on eBay. It was pretty. It was, he had some pretty neat stuff. Closing in on me Car after car On this cold concrete I need some dirt Under my feet